What's up guys? Ankle Spankin here and today we're playing as AD Carry Kennen. Um just in case you guys are wondering, this is just something that sounded fun to me. Plus one of my very good friends was like, hey, I wanna see this because it'd be funny. And I was like, I agree. I think that would be funny. So we're doing it. And uh I actually used to do this back in like season one. Um, back when Malady existed, back when Malady was an AD item, actually, that gave you lifesteal and attack speed and attack damage. It was pretty awesome. Um, but that was a very long time ago. I get, like, Madred's Blood Razor, uh, Gunblade, and Malady and whatnot. It was quite the build. I could actually go find it upstairs, but I'm not going to bother with that. Anyways, uh, just something real fast. Um... I want to let you guys know that I will be going on vacation pretty soon. I am trying to pre-record a lot of videos so I can have uh, up videos uploading like during the days that I'm gone. But I'm just letting you guys know right now that if I miss videos on some days or something, it's either because I'm stockpiling it or just because I wanted to upload it later or something like that. Uh, I shouldn't miss any days, honestly, after, uh, after yesterday, but I should... Oh shoot, 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 shit, shit, shit. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I almost forgot. Uh, eh! Alright, that's all you get. Anyways, I am going to uh, just chill and try and see us, but I did want to mention about all the rank games and stuff. I kind of thought about it for a bit longer, more with my idea of making my channel like all rank games, and I realized how unrealistic that is. Partially for uh, lack of champion variety, and partially because that's not even what my channel's focused on. Um, in reality, it would be a more beneficial idea for me to just keep doing what I've been doing. And that's essentially meaning, like, yeah, I do want to do more ranked games because I am playing more of them. But at the end of the day, um, I mean, I guess in reality, all you get. If I want. I'm not even going to bother explaining, I'm just going to tell you guys what the result will be. Basically, you guys will be getting more videos from me. Because I want to upload more ranked games, but I also want to keep uploading normal games too. So, you guys will be getting uh, more games from me in general. So, I know, pretty sure no one's going to bitch about that one. And let's actually, oh, I missed my stun. I need to get out, I need to get out, I need to get out. <laughs> if I let that hit me, I was definitely probably going to die. So, I needed to be really careful there. And let's, uh... Let's get these potions popping. I need to start focusing on the game a little bit more instead of just talking. Because it's starting to get me uh, almost killed. I had to pop my flash, but I didn't need to pop my barrier, so that's good. I still have that. Um, and that kind of sucks I'm against the vein. Vein's are really strong. It looks like Sebastian got the first blood. So good for him. Um, let's just get the siege main. There we go. They actually hit level 3, so I'm going to stay really far back for a bit. And... When I, when I got into this game, honestly, I was kind of, I don't want to say bummed, but I was a little little distraught by the fact that I knew I'd be going against a, a, a Leona. Because Leona is a, a, a toughie for people like Kennen. Simply because, you know, if I get locked down, I'm not going anywhere. But one thing, if you guys like want to know legitimate things about AK Kennen, uh, you shouldn't be trying to use your E much for like trying to get on people unless you're trying to just catch up to them and snipe them or something. Uh, obviously you should use your E quite a lot, but not as much as you think because you can't auto attack when you're in your E. And obviously if you're AD cannon, you, most of your damage is going to be coming from auto attacks, right? So that's one thing to keep in mind that you can't auto attack. And it looks like she's dropping pretty low there. And at least in Singularity just going to pop on the minions. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. That'll be some good damage off on her. Let's go ahead and pop that third mark. Never mind, she's she's running too far away. Let's go. Damn it! Yep. All right, I still hit Leon with that, and I'm just gonna keep up the CS. In. And actually, if I can um, keep up with her in levels, that would be ideal. Let's. There we go. She is actually letting me kind of poke her down for free, which is really good for us. Did she start with the door? She did start with the door, so I actually have the potion advantage. Um, by starting with a longsword. So that's good for me. And since I am AD Cannon, as I keep saying over and over again, I will level up my W first, because uh, that way I can, you know, focus more on, again, the AD aspect of AD Cannon. So, let's see how that works. I was kind of thinking of a build before this game. I think I'm going to run just, uh, I'm just going to rush like a, uh, whatever it's called, Blade of the Rune King. 
and then just do whatever I want. So let's go ahead and poke this Leona some. There we go. There's two autos off on her for good measure. Let's go ahead and get a third. Bam. Eat it. And uh, I guess since I'm, you know, not really doing much, I can fill this gap of time with other AD carry information. Actually, she got a good catch out on there, so I'm just going to do a bunch of damage to her and run back up here. Vane picked up a Vampire Acceptor, so that was a good choice on her part. But anyways, just general stuff about AD carry. Um... That you guys should know if you're going to be playing AD carry. Just simple things like if you're trying to trade with people, uh, don't try and trade in their minion wave. Like if they have a big minion wave or something, don't try and chase super far to get that one more auto attack in on them or anything like that. That can really severely backfire on you. And I actually thought that would do more. Whoops, whatever. Let's go ahead and get the E off. Or the W, I mean. And then uh, maybe I can get a stun off on them. Nope, Leona's going to get hit by it actually. But we'll still do some good poke on them. So little things like uh, don't trade in people's minion ways. Um, what else is there? If you're gonna miss CS, take the uh, take the CS over gain some poke off on people, because that way, I mean, yeah, you can you can get poked a little bit by doing that, and obviously getting poked isn't you know the best idea, but I would rather get a CS and get poked a little bit than lose CS and get some poke in on them. Especially when they have like Vampire Acceptor and whatnot, because that one auto attack for the CS that you missed will not be worth it, because they'll heal it up in a few hits. Uh, what else is there? Usually if you can avoid it, um, you never want to let the enemy's poke go unanswered though. This is on a different note, like if someone hits you even though they may do more damage, you're still going to want to try and hit them back. Um, and that's, you know, trading at its finest. Obviously, you know, God, fuck, I cannot see this right now. I keep canceling my autos. But obviously, you know, when you're trading, if uh, if they're getting free hits off on you, you're gonna lose, <laughs> right? Is she gonna, no, not gonna pop that E? I don't know if she wants to, oh, the stun going off there. Let's go ahead and walk away. I'm gonna go ahead and E out of here. Now let's see if we can, yeah, they're not going after me. If they continue to go after me, I would have tried to turn on Vane, maybe, but it was definitely an interesting thought. But let's just keep up the CS in for right now. It looks like Nasus is up there with Lee Sin, and good shield, Lux, good shield. I'm going to go ahead and ward this with my trinket, and then just keep on the CS. And as far as, you know, important AD carry things go, oh, that Silver Bolts did a lot of damage. Damn, I did not expect that. I actually didn't see her hit six. That was uh, that was one of the problems of me not paying attention, and that happens. But looks like my teammates are coming in. Not sure what they're gonna do, but we will see. I'm gonna pick up some HP potions. What the heck? Not that many. I only wanted two. Okay, apparently. Okay, this is good. 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 <laughs> All right, now. <laughs> Now I get to show you guys how you can come back from a 4-0 vein. <laughs> We're really going to have to uh, play this much differently now <laughs> to come back from a 4-0 vein. Oh, gosh. Ah, why are you getting jealous? Alright, whatever. Looks like Nasus is down here. Since the jungler died to uh, to the vein as well as the mid laner. Um, what the heck? Why does Lux have teleport? What? Okay, whatever. Anyways, we're going to really have to uh, play this a bit differently now that um, Vayne is 4-0. You know, that's that's a pretty big problem. Partially because it's Vayne, partially because it's a 4-0 anything, uh, now that I'm stuck in lane against it. So we have to play this much more carefully. And um, in reality, we need ganks more than anything else, but... Uh, Oh god. I think my best bet, honestly, would be to try and roam. Because, I mean, she actually didn't get that far ahead of me. That that Q, what the hell? That was quite the interesting Q. But now she has double buffs. I'm pretty much going to naturally lose every trade. Um, unless she doesn't attack me back, which would just be silly. And since she has all this lifesteal, and I need to get out of here, it doesn't matter. If Leona jumps on me, I'll die. That's the problem. Like, that's kind of the problem with where I'm at right now. Um, 
Vayne can honestly just kill us. That's you know really what it comes down to. And it looks like mid is trading kills, so kind of just meh. <laughs> it just happens. It looks like at least Sebastian is doing well, right? At least at least he's doing well. Let's go ahead and do this to him. I'm gonna go ahead and not get hit by that. Cause I really didn't want to uh get Zenith bladed. And she, if she condemned me right there, I would have taken a lot of damage. And it looks, oh god, she's taking a ton of damage. I'm lagging now. That's not good. Alright, I hope that lag spike went down. Because, you know, I kind of have to actually do things right to play this lane now. Which is going to really, really suck. Um, and I don't know what's up with my support, but she seems like really, really, really weak. So I don't know if that's... I don't know if she's low level or something, but she... What the hell? Okay. Why'd my ping just skyrocket? That's not good for me at all. That's not one bit of good for me. Alright, I went back down. I don't know what is up with this tonight, but we'll see how this goes. At least I'm still at CS in her, but actually Leona has a target, so... I'm actually going to be down on CS to her. I have to sit really far back, because, you know... Lux wasn't here, so if they jumped on me, I was dead. Um... Alright, well, another bit of good news is that Vayne doesn't have the double buffs anymore. So this lane has gotten boring because, you know, we had to let it get like that. And it looks like Leeson and, uh, and Rengar are coming in, so I'm gonna go in there now. Flash in and pop my ultimate right on the Vayne, get the stun off on her, and that will be the Vayne definitely going down. I just stuttered so hard. And let's see if we can get this, if I can get the sun off. The sun is going off! The solar flare gonna come out, and Sebastian picking up the double kill onto that Leona. We really, really badly needed that for this lane. And, uh, I'm gonna run up here and just mark all those guys and try and push this a bit faster. I did not use my, uh, my, whatever, my, my active on my, uh, Village Water Cutlass. But that was definitely good. It looks like Heimerdinger is going to help him do the dragon. We're going to get this bot tower. So, this will be good for us. I should be able to get my Bork, right? After the dragon in the tower? Yeah, I should be able to. Eh, what the heck? Can I please kill that? All right. So, we got the dragon. We got the tower. Yep, I'm good to get that tur uh, Good to get that Bork now. And she should have hers? Actually, she doesn't. Interesting. I'm really, really surprised. Uh, oh well. Let's go ahead and make up the Bork. Hopefully this should help us out enough. I'm going to move that back into my 3 slot, because that's much more natural for my hand to hit. And let's see here. Can I pop my E, get back to lane a bit faster. And now that we, uh, we got some gold off of killing Van and taking the tower, we should... I mean, I don't know if we can duel her, per se, because it's, you know, it's still Vayne. Uh, and she's, <laughs> she's still 4-1. But we should be in a much better position now that I at least have the Bork. Because that will really up my attack speed and up my damage in general off on, on both of them. So. I'm going to walk back. Try not to get autoed. Bane has a uh, short range on her attack of 550. And it would do a lot of people good to remember that. But I think Ken actually has the same. Yeah, Ken has the exact same auto attack range. So that's... What the hell? What the hell? What the hell is she doing? That's a kill for me! Let's go ahead and bork her! Oh shit! Is she gonna dive me? Whoa! Hello! And the... Oh god. Uh, Alright, there we go! There we go! Oh my god. I had to make a choice there. To either try and run away, which would have killed me. Or to try and fly on her and stun her with my EW, which is what I did. And it paid off! I don't know why they tried to dive and that is actually exactly why I'm against diving. For some reason my Bork never went off. I tried to use it like four times, but I guess I guess I wasn't in range or something. But that was pretty sloppy on my part, but we still ended up outplaying them. Good job to Lux, and um... Oh gosh, he is so low. Let's see if we can... Damn it! I wanted that blue. I wanted blue. Dang, I can't type with my mic in front of my keyboard. Because <laughs> my hands get so awkwardly positioned. But that's okay. Uh, we need to go back here. So let's go ahead and just go back. Oh, shit! That's where to go ahead and pop the Bork, and I will still die. Um, bummer. Bummer. 
Let's go ahead and get the uh, Berserker Greaves. And then get a pickaxe. So, what the hell was that bush warded for? What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell was that warded for? Whatever. Now we have Berserker Greaves and, uh, and a pickaxe. Next time I'm going to be building will be Infinity Edge. Um, I don't know if it's a weird or good or bad build or not. I have no idea. But, I like it when I'm playing Kennen. And obviously after the uh, Bork, I'm going to get the... Um, What's it called? Uh, Phantom Dancer. Phantom Dancer. That is the good item on me. Because that will, you know, give me all the crit stuff that I need. Let's go ahead and just, uh... Okay. 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 I need to get out. Okay. What the heck? Why are they constantly trying to dive me still? They weren't even near diving area. Like, you don't even... You're not supposed to dive cannons in the first place because it's freaking cannon. Uh, he'll just ult you. But let's see here. Let's go ahead and try and get some lifesteal back. He's gonna try and zenith onto me. And we'll miss. I didn't even have to juke it. But let's go ahead and try and get some autos off on her. There we go. My health is actually getting all the way back up still. Uh, actually very rapidly from my lifesteal. Let's go ahead and actually miss a Q. That's good. There we go. I'm gonna miss that CS, sadly. I'm gonna throw my ward in there. Just to make sure that Leona isn't trying to set a trap on me. And I know she doesn't have her barrier, but there's a free auto off on her. That's good. That's good for me. And uh, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, uh, what the hell? She missed? Back off, back off, back off! Oh my god, what are you doing? You fool! All right, she's stunned. She is definitely stunned right here, and she is going to get double stunned for the kill with the Bork right there. Good thing that Vayne was really, really, really focused on killing Lux for some reason instead of me. And that provided for one easy kill if I space out my CC. So that was good for us. Let's just keep up the CS and I'm at 110 right now, which isn't necessarily great, but I am beating the Vayne. Um, actually, I'm not because, you know, like I said earlier, Vayne has targets on her side. So I'm actually behind the Vayne a little bit on CS. But that's actually kind of to be expected in my mind right now with, um... What the heck? Why is jungle and mid here when he's literally taking down their second turret? Why is... <laughs> why was Fizz here? I don't get it. Oh my gosh. That assault of damage. Alright, so Fizz backed off. Looks like the Wither going off onto him. Let's go ahead and just kill this guy. Uh, boom! And this will be... Whoop! I'm gonna go ahead and try and stun her. Pop my barrier and that will be another kill! And let's just go ahead the freaking lean knocking him away and this will be another kill for us and after boop, okay he's got it I was kind of hoping that my last auto would kill him but it did not so great job to my teammates right there I decided I would stay in and just tank him and fight him try and get all the CC out that I could turn out to be a good idea and that is good for us and we just got the second tier turret in bot and mid so quite a lot of money just went to our team and I will get... Oh, we should be able to get this tower, too. So that'll be even better for us. Yeah, they're not going to be able to stop this. Oh, oh, okay, good. We still got it. Never mind. I'm just going to go ahead and try and chunk her down a little bit. Let's see. The grenade coming out. Not going to land, though. Let's go ahead and... Uh oh Okay, I guess... I mean, I guess if you want me to get out safely, that's fine, Vane. You're, you're a nice lady. All right, I'm not even going to... I want to try and fight this, though. What's this guy doing? Let's go ahead and pull the Bork on him, and... Pew! I'm out of here. And lo what the heck? Why are people... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I want to do that so badly, but it's such a bad idea. Oh, well. I'm just going to go back in here. Um, it's <laughs> Watch, it's going to be, like, warded again. Nah, it's not. They're not coming for us. Well, let's go ahead and pick up the... Uh, whatever that thing is called. This thing. The BF sword. There you go. And we'll pick up the other component of the Infinity Edge, which is, of course, the Cloak of Agility, if you guys do not know. And now we can proceed to make more plays, because now that I'm finally ahead of the vein, I can, uh, drop my focus level. And I can focus more on having fun again. Because I generally don't like to just get pooped on. Um, well, of course, no one likes to get pooped on in general, but, you know. 
You guys know what I mean. Yeah, I got both those golems. Level up my Q again, just kind of for the poke and the cooldown. I'm leveling up all this stuff so I can have lower cooldown on it. Um, what the? Oh my gosh, they all just got juked. And he's just doing the wolves. I'm going to drop the ward right there. Uh, oh, hello. Hello. Okay, they know I'm here, definitely. Hello. Hello, little one. Did they take this already? Nope. Okay, I guess I will. Actually, he probably will. <gasps> He's giving it to me! What a guy! What a nice guy. I like to have the blue buff on Kennen, though, because it lets me have all my cooldowns lowered. And let us get into this fight! I'm coming in flashing with the ultimate! Going on all of them! Popping the W! There's a kill! Going to drop her down! Come here, where'd you go? Oh, I want your hiney. Oh, I want your hiney. Come here, bitch. Eh? Damn it. Yes, get borked. No. Uh-uh. Oh, good snare, Lux. And that was really good on Lux's part. She was dead, though, because my E was up anyways. But very well played. And the flash ultimate initiate was a success. Well, I guess it wasn't really initiate, but the, uh, you know, the flying in of them. We're flying in on them. Let's go ahead and go on this guy. Yep. Oh, the Lux ultimate into my shuriken will seal the kill actually immediately and that will be their inhibitor turret in mid let's go ahead and throw the Q on him and slow him down a little bit oh the snare coming out will the stun connect no the stun will not connect because I am fucking terrible let's get this inhibitor and not get condemned in the inhibitor that would suck we got a alright good here Pew. oh I just got condemned into the turret damn it alright oh right through the minions and pop! There goes the mark, and then pop! You're stunned! Let's go ahead and just let these autos go off, and let's go ahead and try and do something with it. Never mind, not going to. Lost all coming out again! Damn, that cooldown is short. I thought they <laughs> I thought they nerfed that! Let's go ahead and just... Okay. Okay. Is she not going to pop that third one? Nope! The Fizz all actually missing! Heimerdinger's ultimate coming out, and that will be a kill off onto the freaking vein once again picking up that kill just gonna stand here and auto attack until my heart's content and this will be another kill for us I'm just gonna keep doing what I've been doing this whole time and I'm just gonna sit here <laughs> like they don't even they don't even care about me am I that little of a threat there we go let's get another kill off on them oh Kenan picking up the kill with the board game or the board kill and that will be the end of this game, actually. It looks like Vayne's coming in. Come here, baby. Come here, lady. Oh, there's another assist. And it looks like the game is not ending yet. Nasus has something to say, and Nasus is silenced. He is silenced. Permanently silenced. But that will be the end of this game, guys. If you enjoyed this, make sure you like and favorite list me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or social things will be in the description below. I actually want to try this again, because um, I wanted to get a bit further than that. Try and see a different kind of matchup or something in more of an unfavorable situation but I mean I guess 4-0 vein is pretty unfavorable but as always guys I love you guys I hope I have a wonderful day I hope you have a wonderful day PEACE